Today we're going to talk about a new kind of medicine. It's called regenerative medicine. Now this is a completely new approach to healing the body. The conventional approach in medicine has been to use chemicals or drugs to um, alter different processes of the cells. In regenerative medicine, the approach is taken to actually allow the body to heal itself or to use cells to actually accelerate the healing of the body by making new cells. What we mean specifically by cells is we're talking about a special type of cell called the stem cell. Today we're, probably, we're going to focus on the bone marrow stem cell. Now, when I say stem cells, you might be thinking, what does this mean? Is this embryonic stem cells? We all hear on the news about controversies with aborted babies and these kind of things. What we're talking about today is a type of stem cell that has been used for decades. It's called the bone marrow stem cell. These are cells which essentially their normal function in the body is to make blood. They are cells that come from inside the bone and and they have been used to treat people with different leukemias for decades now. So essentially, um, if you have a leukemia, what happens is your blood, the cells that make the blood, stop making blood but start making copies of themselves. And before the only treatment for this was to give chemotherapy, and chemotherapy would kill the bad leukemic cells but would also kill the good cells that are normally making blood. And as a result, the patient not only would not have red blood cells to transport oxygen, but he'd also, or she would also be susceptible to infections. Now, the bone marrow stem cell transplantation, what this means is that you administer very high doses of chemotherapy and radiation to kill the stem cells that make the blood, and then you come in with new stem cells from a healthy individual. Now, when I say stem cells, you might be thinking that stem cells make new organs not just a cell that makes blood. But this is where the beauty came in. The beauty came in that it was found about a decade ago that the bone marrow stem cells, besides making blood, can also make different types of tissue when placed in the right conditions. Now, how this was discovered is initially, if the bone marrow stem cell can make something else different than blood, you should be able to see tissue that derived from that cell. So when we're talking about a bone marrow transplant, imagine, for example, if you take a female and you give the female bone marrow from a male donor. Now, the male donor's bone marrow is going to make it so that in the female is only male blood, right? Now, if you take a biopsy from the heart of the female, and as you can see in this picture that's in front of you right now, you can see Y chromosome in the heart of a female. Now, you might say that this is not very few cells are becoming heart cells. In the next picture that I'm, picture that I'm showing you here is green bone marrow that was administered to a mouse and then the mouse was given a heart attack. And as you can see, there is a lot of green cells surrounding the area of injury. And this is telling us that the bone marrow can become heart tissue. And this was demonstrated in other types of examples as well. Now, the most exciting part was when this data was taken and applied to humans. And I'm going to talk about three examples of the bone marrow stem cell actually helping people in the sense of regeneration of tissue. The first example is the heart. Here is the data from a double blind study in which 100 people received stem cells from the bone marrow and 100 people received placebo. All 200 people had a heart attack. Now, as you can see, after the heart attack, when these stem cells were given, the pumping activity of the heart actually increased only in the group that had received the bone marrow stem cells. And this is a double-blind study published in the prestigious journal Lancet, and 17 hospitals collaborated in this study. So this is not... Um, a once-care study or a case report. This is a full-fledged double-blind study I was talking about. Now, the other example is a disease called peripheral artery disease in which there is not enough circulation in the leg and as a result, the patients get amputated. As you can see in this slide, 
uh, the um, patients who rec before receiving bone marrow, and you see there's not a lot of blood vessels. After receiving bone marrow, you can see the market increase in blood vessels. And the last example is in patients who have liver failure. Liver failure at, is characterized by something called the child pew score, which is a severity of disease. This is a study here of nine patients, and as you can see, in the four weeks and 24 week time points, their child pew score decreased, which is suggestive of a clinical improvement. So today in 2007, we know from published studies coming from the United States and Western Europe, that in a black and white manner, bone marrow stem cells can regenerate the heart, uh, damaged arteries, and as well as liver. 